Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Healing Hands Prayer Video Closet. And today is 11, uh, sorry, 8 29 23. I am Darlene Polly. It is 11 05 in the morning. I can stay still say good morning. <laughs> Got a bit of a late start, but we're okay. We're doing good. Okay, um, let's pray first before we get started. Father, thank you so much for this time to come together and, and be in your presence to learn from your word and, and soak in what you're teaching us today, Lord. I pray that you will open our ears and our minds and our hearts to receive your word. Guide us and lead us today, we ask in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, come and fall. Fill each one as we go through your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so I am in Psalm 20. I'm going to read through the whole chapter. Um, this was kind of a, a bit a bit of an encouraging um, word to me um, in trying to seek where God was wanting to go because like I told you he usually doesn't give me the give me these things um, till the very last minute and um, it's a challenge to my ability to just rest in him and his understanding so um, I don't mind it. I'm, I've actually gotten quite used to it. Um, but when I'm reading through this, God enlightens me. And it's amazing how, where he leads us and it, it strikes us. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. We're, you were just trying to, you know, and you get the understanding God was already talking to you about that or, you know, so he brings you to, you, to the, his word and then he guides you in that. Um, uh, that said, I had been praying for certain things, and um, God led me to this chapter. And I think that um, if you've gotten there already, you, you know you've understood. Um, okay, so let me let me just read through this, and it, you'll see the the assurance of the um, of the the word. It's just beautiful. Okay, it says to the chief musician, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of God, may the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. May he grant you according to your heart's desire and fill and fulfill all your, your purpose. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set our set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord. May the king answer us when we call. And that the word king in there is capital K. So it's referring to Christ, Jesus. Okay, so let's go back to the top. I really, um, every single verse, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you've had those moments where God, God just leads you somewhere and you're like, a light bulb comes on, you know, that's exactly what happened here. Okay, so God, God is, um, some of us have gone through many um, spiritual storms, many spiritual, um, uh, some of us spiritual breakthroughs, yeah. Um, but some of us have gone through so many spiritual storms, we're kind of tired and weary. We're still praying, we're still uh, believing, we're still trusting him to um, to hear our petitions, to um, bring his strength and his um, his help. And we still put our offering in. We still put our tithes and offerings in. We're like, God, what happened to, you know, what about this? You know, what about that? And we're like, why am I not seeing any results? And here, God is reassuring us. This is where, right here, this is where God is showing us this is my answer. May he send you help for, you know, because Christ, when, when Jesus prays for us. So in that comfort, 
I, I got the very strong impression God is praying for us. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. That's verse two. You know, how may, okay, let's go back to verse one. May the Lord answer you, answer you in the day of trouble. How many of us have had trouble? Okay. And we feel like, where's God? Okay. And God is like, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. And God is always extending a hand. He's not empty handed. He's not without a, a will to help and, and guide and lead and provide and um, bring aid and strength and um, peace to the storm. Okay. He is not without that. Okay. I was going to go somewhere else. Um, stick to here for right now. Okay. So, and then he says, may he send you help from the sanctuary. You know, when you think of a sanctuary, you think of a peaceful place. May he send you help from the sanctuary. I mean, bring peace. You know, we're, we're always crying out for peace. We're crying out for hope and uh, help in, in the struggles of everyday life, the struggles of what we're going through. In, in this uh, country, in this um, time, you know, he's like, I want, I want to bring you peace. All you have to do is reach out and grab it. And, you know, we're like, when it comes to the tithes and offerings, we're like, what happened to that? May he remember all your offerings. There's nothing wrong with, with asking God, remember my offerings. Remember my tithe. Remember what what I gave from my heart because it's not that you gave that certain amount it's what you gave from your heart that's what matters did it come from your heart so okay so let's move on um, may he grant you according to your heart's desire do you know God desires to grant us our desires <laughs> he gives us the desires of our heart that's twofold. He gives us the desires, so we desire what he wants us to desire, and he grants us our desires. We desire, you know, if you desire to have your own house instead of rent, he will grant you that. You have to ask, you have to pray, you have to earnestly believe and trust in him, keep your faith in him, and ask. I, I have found that uh, decreeing and declaring things is very, very powerful. And I believe it will happen. Those things that I call out, those things that be not as though they were, like Abraham did. You know, for, with Abraham, it was counted to him as righteousness. So we should do the same. God doesn't write those things in his word for us not to follow those examples. So decree and declare those things that which God has told you those promises that God gave you, you ask, and God says, granted. You know, he doesn't give us those things that, that hurt us. He won't grant the desires, that selfish desires that um, keep us away from him. He will definitely guide um, us in that way. He will definitely guide us away from the stuff that would hurt us and bring us away from him. He would never lead us or give us things that would draw us away from him. So, may he grant you according to your heart's desire and fulfill all your purpose. All your purpose. He put you here on earth for a purpose. And he's going to fulfill your purposes. He's going to fulfill, he's going to answer your hearts according to your heart's desire. And fulfill all your purposes. It's going to line up with his will. And I, I believe that you will, I, I promise you will enjoy every part of it. Because when you are in God's will, you are most peaceful. You will never want to, uh, to be outside of God's will once you've experienced being in His will. That is, that is a lesson I have been through lately that has been oh so um, <laughs> trial some I want to say it it has been quite a lesson you know but to understand where you've been in God's will and then what it's like to be not in God's will you know once you've been in God's will you 
don't want to go anywhere else. It is the most peaceful place. It is perfect peace, something our soul and our, our spirit are crying out for. Perfect peace. You know, we, we look for things in peace in, in our everyday situations. We look for our own um, peace of mind. Some of us turn on some music, calm music. Some of us turn on um, uh, really loud alternative music. Some of us um, turn on the pictures of the ocean or a picture of a, a fish tank, you know, um, or we have a fish tank or we go to the beach or we, we find a quiet spot or find our favorite place, okay? We find our favorite place and we gather peace from those things. But when we discover the peace of God, there's nothing like that. There is nothing like that fulfillment. And then there's nothing, even the beach can't even, even the, the beautiful, calm, warm beach, uh, soft sand under your feet. Um, if you've been to um, Siesta Key, you know it's like walking on flower. Siesta Key Beach is a it's a beautiful beach in um, in Sarasota area, uh, Florida, and um, it is it's like walking into um, a little bit of Hawaii because it's got the the, the crystal clear uh, ice blue waters and then you have the flower sand. It's not this grainy sand that um, hurts your feet. It's actually it, it, exactly like walking on flour and um, it, it is a is it, it is an escape but do you know that even something like that that piece is nothing compared to that is nothing compared to God's peace and his will when you've been in his presence when you've been in his peace there's you could be anywhere and you're in your favorite place when you're in God's presence you're in your favorite place when you're in God's will because there's nothing compared to that love and that peace and that acceptance that you get from him so um, I'm gonna move on and I, I think that you gather that that is I think that's where God is going here today but when God brings all of those those uh, answers to our prayer, the peace that we're looking for in this dark time, the, the, the joy that we're looking, the hope that we're looking for. We get to a point where it says in verse five, we will rejoice in your salvation. We, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. You know, when we when we come to him, when we come into our into his presence, we come into his presence with thanksgiving, into his courts of praise. Okay, um, I forget where the reference to that is, but it is very um, it's very powerful when you bring rejoicing and and song and worship into your prayer time. Um, <clears throat> I have been looking for. Um, uh, an arrangement of music that I could bring um, that we could start out with in in these uh, prayer times um, but I've not yet found it and if any of you know anything please um, leave a comment or um, message me through messenger or something because um, I really wouldn't um, mind having an idea um, that said I'll move on but that you know, that worship and praise is so powerful. When you come in and you worship him, his presence is invited. He's, he's, he's enthroned upon our praises. So when we come and we worship him, he is able to work and do. He is lifted up. So he will lift us up. Okay. And that's where this is coming from. We will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. He, why? Because he's worthy. He's worthy of all the praise, honor, and glory. And when we worship him, we honor him. Okay? And that's when he is able to work. And then it says, may the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Okay? Your petitions are heard by God. He does not let one fall to the ground. 
Now, some of them are not answered. You know, some of our prayers are blocked if we're not following God's word. If um, it's in Ephesians, I think it's chapter six, could be wrong, um, where it talks about our how our prayers are hindered, um, when our prayers are hindered. And maybe we'll cover that next week because that wouldn't be a bad um, study to do together. Um, okay, that said, um, I really feel like that's what God had to say today. I really feel like God doesn't want to, to drag this on except that he does, in verse 6, he says, Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He is going to save you. He is going to save his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. God is all powerful. He has all strength. He has everything we need. And he, it says here, he will answer from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Not just that he will answer and it might not be the way we want. No, he's, he's saying he will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. He's not going to leave you in the spot that you're stuck in. He's not going to leave you weak. He's going to give you strength and he's going to give you everything you need to, to, to get through your day, to walk through your day with strength and hope and peace and love in spite of all the circumstances going around, uh, around you. Some trust in, in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of our, the Lord, our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Why? Because he gave us the strength that we need. Because he answered from his holy heaven with the strength of his right hand. Okay? Save, Lord. May the king answer us when we call. Okay? And I believe he will. He will answer when you call. Um, it's in, let's see. Uh, Psalm 910 those who know your name Lord will put their trust in you those who know your name will put your their trust in you for you Lord have never forsaken those who seek you so when we seek him we put our trust in him he will answer he does answer so we can trust that let's pray father thank you so much for your encouraging word thank you for your reassurance that you really do care about your sheep, the sheep of your pasture. Lord, we are so grateful that you are our shepherd, that you are the one that leads us and guides us through this, this dark time, through the hard times in our life, whatever the case may be that we're going through, Lord. We thank you that you provide every single thing. We thank you that you're Jehovah Jireh, that you provide everything we need, strength, food, provisions, everything. We thank you that you remember our offerings, our, uh, our sacrifices of praise. We thank you that you, you have seen our heart, that you're not just looking at our circumstances, but you're looking at our heart. And we come before you with, with humble hearts, and ask that you, you see our circumstance and bring strength and hope and peace and love overflowing. Thank you, Father. Thank you for all that you've given, all that you provided. Thank you for the ministries that, that are under us, or sorry, that are over us. We thank you, Father, that you have uh, have led us through these ministries, the church ministries that we're under. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the shepherds that you have placed in our care, for the pastors that are, that are leading and guiding us. For me personally, I thank you for uh, Robin and Pastor Robin and Prophet Robin Bullock. I thank you for them. Thank you for their guidance and their their leadership, Father, for their ministries. We pray that you will strengthen each church represented here, Father. 
we pray that you will strengthen each staff of each church in your word strengthen them in your word and in, the, in their faith in you in jesus name give them grace and peace lord in jesus name i pray father that you will bless each one that is here that those that need healing i hear something about an elbow <laughs> thank you for hearing healing the one elbow but thank you lord for that you are going to heal that other elbow <laughs> i pray that you will bless that person may it be a supernatural experience in jesus name speak healing into that elbow speak healing into those toes someone's toes are hurting someone's toes are burning in Jesus' name, I speak healing into it. Someone was a victim of a, a fire, a forest fire is what I heard. I speak healing into your skin. I speak healing into every part of your body, supernaturally re renewed in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name as if you were never burned in Jesus name. There's a liver that needs healing. I speak healing into that liver in Jesus name. Apparently that person is left-handed. I speak healing into that person in Jesus name. thank you I praise that you, I pray that you will um, go before us today lead us and guide us put a hedge of protection around each car each soul each body in Jesus name now may the Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you may he give you his grace his favor and his peace in Jesus name God bless have a great day